Hey everyone, welcome to another ARAM game, and uh, I'm actually down here on the red team once again playing as Twisted Fate. I'm not the best Twisted Fate player, uh, I've played him a couple times now. In ARAM he's kind of halfway decent, mostly because of his teleport, uh, able to get, if you get pushed far enough and you need some help, he can teleport halfway across the screen and help take out a turret or two. Um, but, uh, for the most part, yeah, um, not the best with him. I actually, uh, started out with Sona, and even though I wanted to hang on to Sona, I had a bunch of people wanting to switch with me, so I switched with Sona, um, for Master Yi, and then, uh, the guy wanted Master Yi, so I switched him for Twisted Fate. So, I kinda got switched around. I'm not really too picky if I get somebody, and I'm really, really good with them, I'll stick with them. But a lot of times, I'm willing to switch with people if they, you know, really want to. And in this case, um, I, I thought, okay, you know what I mean, Master Yi, I can still play as Master Yi, I'm still pretty good with Master Yi, I'm better with Sona, but that's fine, I'll play a Master Yi game, that seems more fun anyway. But it seemed like everybody was trying to just switch around to get stuff done, so I just wanted people to enjoy playing, and that's kind of the point of it all. Um, so the guy who's playing Master Yi hopefully knows how to play as Master Yi, I'm hoping. Um, but we're up against a pretty nasty team. Um, Lux can be an issue. Um, Kaylee can be an issue. But luckily, we have a good support, which is Sona. Um, and uh, Thresh can be a real help since he can uh, grab a hold of people, drag them in, you know, uh, do some damage here. And of course, uh, Vel'Koz is going to be a problem, um, but we're just going to do the best we can um, and hope for the best. So as soon as Vel'Koz gets to 100% here, we'll go ahead and start the game. Um, but other than that, I don't know. Like it's it's going to be a it's it's pretty well evened off. I'm not seeing anybody as a big powerhouse. I'm not seeing anybody as like, you know, a weakling. It's going to be pretty pretty balanced. So, hopefully, whenever Vel'Koz decides to get to where he needs to be. Um, but let's just go ahead and see what's going on here. Come on now. I do this so I can talk about the game, you know, uh, and who we're up against, and you can see what the battle is going to be, but, um, it does take a while, and, uh, I included just, you know, uh, I'm gonna check my phone while this is loading, because it's just, man. There we go. And, oh, 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 and there we go, okay. Doing stuff on my phone. I should be concentrating on League of Legends, but uh, I'm just, like I said, we're just waiting for Vel'Koz here to finally log in. So, I apologize. Like I said, normally this is the time where I would talk about, you know, people. I am pretty decent with Vel'Koz, by the way. Um, I'm good with Vel'Koz, Sona, Master Yi, um, Lux, everybody else is kind of like, eh, for me. I'm not the biggest, you know... Of all the people on this screen, you know what I mean? Those those would be my strongest people would be uh, Sona, Master Yi, Lux, Vel'Koz, that type of thing. So, but we'll see how it goes. Be an interesting battle, at least. I'm just, I'm nervous about playing as Twisted Fate because uh, getting his cards down is really important because I like, out of all his things, I really like stunning, um, stunning people. Uh, but you have to hit that card at the exact right time and then have it loaded and your next basic attack stuns them. Um, and it's just tricky to get that, you know, set up. He also, early game, really takes up a lot of mana. I'm going to be going through mana like crazy in the very beginning of the game here. Um, that'll even itself out and I'll be able to have no problem late game. But uh, early game, it's rough for me. i got to really pick my battles carefully. Any time now would be absolutely wonderful. Because, uh... Just kind of sitting here. <laughs> I think this is the longest, um... ARAM introduction we've had so far. Um... It's pretty disappointing that we got to wait this long just to get into the game, but... I hope it's not my computer. I hope I hope the game's not going on without me. I hope it's just a thing where, you know... Because right down here you can see where my... Where I'm at. Internet connection is not too bad. It should be able to log, you know, get right in here. But there was, ha oh, there it goes. I was going to say it was having some issues earlier where I wasn't able to log in. 
Um, so as you can see right off the bat, uh, they want me building all kinds of magic resistance, uh, not magic resistance, mana uh, regen, which I'm going to gladly take, because um, it looks like right now I've got, um, let's see, that's 5,100, I have 150% uh, base mana regeneration, um, that's really all, all the more I got, although having the two rings does actually give me um, an extra 30 ability power and 120 health. So that's pretty halfway decent. I don't like going in here by myself, but as long as I stay off the terrain, I can usually sneak in here pretty quick. Get the upper hand. Whoop, I'm a little too close for comfort. Gonna back off. I was sitting there trying to get my card the right way and ended up... Some rough engagement here. Um, we're really getting picked over pretty quick. They've got a good deal of poke. Um, especially Velkaz. He's going to be causing us lots of problems. Lux is going to cause us lots of problems. Um, it's just... This whole thing is going to be a problem. Oh, God! Gonna down a mana uh, health potion. What little bit it'll heal me. Just in here for a little bit. 13.3 health regeneration. Hopefully, get me up there a little bit, at least a little bit of survivability. I know some people, um, when I used to play this, I wouldn't even bother with potions. Um, but early game, they're almost a necessity because um, there's no other way in ARAM to gain health other than to buy items and use items um, in order to regenerate health. Here. Oh, regain some mana back. There we go. I'm, do I'm doing a little bit of poke damage myself, but it my, my Q costs uh, 60 mana right off the bat. Um, which can become a bit of an issue because if I'm casting that left and right, I'm going to run out of mana pretty quick and I need some of my other abilities, such as my um, pick a card, to be able to... Uh, no. And I have, like, no damage right now whatsoever. I'm purely, you know, just regen. Um, which in this case is not helping. Yeah, they have the upper hand right now. Um, they're doing a lot more damage. Um, gonna take that. Um, hmm. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and power up my E first. It gives me more attack speed. It doesn't cost any mana. Um, and it'll at least give me some time to build some other items. That'll give me more, uh, mana regen and some more damage. Right now, I'm just kind of just staying alive uh, so I can gain... Ooh, oh well, spoke too soon. Uh, I'm just trying to stay alive at this point uh, in order to, to gain gold and just be able to be part of the battle, get some assists if possible. Right now, I've already gotten two assists, so if I can just keep getting assists, that helps me with gold, and then I'll be able to buy uh, better items here. Bye. Ooh. It's just some of our engagements are not well thought out. Um, see, it's like Sona's diving in there when she really needs to be backing off. Let the rest of us handle this. Ooh. And like I said, their poke is so bad that it's hard for us to stay pinned down. Almost up to one attack per second, which is good. Um, it's nice that he has that a passive ability, so that I don't have to worry about buying items to increase his uh, increase his attack speed. I can focus on what I need to focus on. Ooh, Velkaz, you dirty bugger! Um, and after my next death here, I'm going to take a look and see what the enemy team is building. Um, that way I know should I build some magic resistance or, you know, 
Is there anything specific I need to be looking for? Damn, Belkaz. Just, just damn. I got my ultimate, um, which right now isn't really going to help me. It's going to help me when I'm, when I die, because I can get into the battle that much. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Nice. Nice. Thank you, uh, Thresh. Sorry, I almost forgot your name there. Oof. Yeah. No. Get up out of there. Come on, yeah, there we go. Good, 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 good. Come on, push. There you go. Back off. Ye, back off. Ye, you stupid. <sighs> you're not stupid. I, I I, don't mean to be, sound like you're stupid. You, you, you try to engage and it just... Well, fuck me. <sighs> I have not been getting the best people today to be playing as. Most of my games today have not been going well at all. I think it's just been the people that I've been getting. Um, uh, yeah, I'll take it. I really shouldn't. So I'm just, I'm gonna go down before you know it. Uh, I'm gonna do, pick a card. I have to power up. Say, I, I need to power up my Q at some point, but not right now. Damn, 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 Finally got this. Now, the real question is, what are they building? Um, uh, looks like some attack damage, mage, pure mage, tank, attack damage, mage. So, maybe some magic resistance might need to be in order. Um, although I got some magic resistance from that there. So I'm going to continue with my build, try to get some magic penetration, see if that doesn't help. Oof. Um, what's the tank building? Armor. Okay, so they're not even worried about me. Then we give a shit about me. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just keep doing the build we're doing. Focus on some magic penetration next. I think I'm gonna power up my Q a good bit. Uh, just because it seems like I, I've got enough mana now to be shooting it left and right. And I could be doing a lot more damage with my Q. So I think that's what we're gonna focus on. Case in point. Now Sona's running in there full, full power. Self invulnerable again. Got snared again. Belkaz knocked me up again. They have so much crowd control, it's not funny. Between Belkaz and Kylie and everybody else. Damn. Why? Oh, I didn't back up far enough. Now I feel silly. I'm doing terrible, guys. Absolutely terrible. Um, I think instead of doing this, I need that. That's important. Same with that, and I also find that very important. I think I'm going to focus on just real quick um, building an abysmal scepter, just so I have the extra magic resistance and. Um, At least everybody can see, you can see everybody. Okay. Unfortunately, in this mode, um, my ultimate doesn't really do much of anything. And Summoner's Rift, it's very useful, but for this one, it just shows all the enemies for a short period of time, where they're all located at. And, um... No, 
not good. Not good. Not good at all. I was able to uh, pin Kylie down. I used to call her Kale. Say the name. Nelly. Oh, come. Oh. I'm just walking into stuff now. This has got to be my worst game yet to date um, for this channel. I, I mean, I'm just dying left and right. I don't seem to be contributing too much. Um, we are doing abysmally. I mean, it's... I mean, there's been comebacks before. You can make comebacks in this game. Um, working as a team, redesigning your strategy, building the correct items um, is all very important, but I just don't see this one going down quite right. And I'm not trying to be pessimistic or anything and just being like, oh, yeah, no, okay, we already lost, but I didn't surrender at the mark. No. Um, play the game to the end. I just, there's not a lot of high hopes for here. I'm not seeing us doing really well unless we start picking it up here start grouping together fighting together getting into team fights doing the correct amount of poking when there's when their pokes are down and really just kind of focusing on trying to stay out of battles and attack from afar especially when you got people like that Ooh. I'm surprised I didn't do more damage. But I am building uh, magic resistance, so that's something to be sent for. I just got a double kill. It's not bad. Powering up my Q a little bit more so I can do more poke. Although from far away, my Q uh, isn't... It, it, it's easy for them to dodge my Q. As long as they're paying attention. If you just stand there, then of course they'll take it. Come on, come on, just take down the tower. Just take down the tower. Take down the tower. That's all I want to do right now. Just take it down, 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 take it down. Mm, nope. Not used to this keyboard. So I keep pressing the, uh, the F key multiple times, I mean the D key multiple times, and that's where my uh, mark is. So, um, I can go back to recommended now. Go ahead and grab this. Um, but that did not go well. Even though I was able to take down their turret, um, our whole team is down. So now they not not only destroyed our one turret, but are probably going to destroy the second one uh, really quickly. I know that was seemed like a kind of a waste of an R, but like I, there's not much I can do at this point. We're on the defensive. If we were on the attack, that'd be a different story, but I'm gonna go ahead and maximize my E. That way it's done, over with, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Yep, backing up. Don't want to poke too much until we have our entire team ready to go. We really need Thresh um, down here to be able to help us and assist us. I'm just kind of poking at this point. Guys, this is it. I'm not making out of this one alive. The amount of poke is unreal. At least we have our team now. Ah, damn. I don't even know what killed me there. Lux, it looks like. Um, 
I, I'm, I'm not doing well at all. Um, this is disappointing. Hmm. Yeah, my wild cards is getting pretty powerful, but unfortunately, I still have a long way to go. Um, damn, long way to go. And my ability power isn't even scaling all that greatly. Um, I'm up to 247, um, and I wish it was a lot higher. Um, but my magic resistance is up to 109, and that's kind of what I was focusing on. Actually, I can... I don't know why I'm not just... guys. Alright. Cool. Did not expect that engagement to go well. But somehow, we didn't do half bad. Nice. Okay. Can we take out their inhibitor? Yes, we can. So, now all that leaves, now that we actually made a bit of a comeback here, all that remains is making sure that we can stay on top and do as much damage, maybe even take out one of their turrets, because this is the last chance we got. Well, so not if I'm going to die from it. Yeah, I'm backing up. Don't worry about me, I'm backing up. I took one turret down, that's all I cared about. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these. Thank you. Poke a little bit. Go ahead, Astros, take that. I took one. Yeah! Okay, okay. It could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Oh, okay. Now we basically just gotta defend. Um, and this is gonna be our last hand. If we can hold them off, we've pretty much enable we can do a big boost and just get down there and do what we need to be done. Um, I wish we could have taken out that other turret because then I could have used my ultimate, gotten behind the enemy team, and um, able to win the game, but unfortunately I wasn't able to take down the second turret. Uh, but at least I got out of there. I'm not, I wasn't, you know, just, just dying for no reason. We're all kind of grouping up here, which is good. We want to fight as a team. Able to take down their minions pretty darn quickly. Yeah, come on now. We just need to make slow pushes. I just see a lot of heavy engagement here. Yep, yep, yep. And it's just a giant battlefield of holy crap. Oh, wow, wow, okay, guys, this could be it, we could do this. We can just take down this turret, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes, take it down, take it down, we could win this, holy crap, we could win this, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Look at that. Wow! Come back of the century. Here, I thought we weren't going to make it. And after one nice big push, that shows teamwork. When we group together, head back, defend what we need to defend, fight under the turret, don't push too hard, that's what happens. Um, and we did a fantastic job. That was just great. Um, that final play, right in the, we were right in the middle of battle. We pushed them just where we needed to push them at. Uh, destroyed their entire team, and then that way we aced, and then we were able to just go in and, and cure. Thank God Sona took most of the damage there, just kind of sat there and um, uh, took the turret fire um, and just let it happen uh, while we were able to knock down the turret pretty quick. And then uh, just as they were spawned, that's when it was all over. So, amazing game. Great game to everybody involved. Um, 
that was really epic. I didn't expect us to win that one, but we pulled it out. We pulled off, and uh, that was great. I really, I'm really happy about this one. This is one of the ones that I found was going to be disappointing, and here we ended up winning the whole darn thing. And I guess that's all that matters at the end. So uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see more of these. Uh, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time.